Indiana All Britain is off tonight. That situation happened Saturday morning. A man entered a synagogue and held four people hostage, including a rabbi, for 11 hours. The rabbi says he threw a chair at the gunman before he and three other hostages made a run for the door and were able to escape. That terrifying situation is now sparking conversation right here in Richmond. How can places of worship protect themselves? 8 News reporter Delaney Hall spoke with a local rabbi about how the Jewish community is feeling and how they plan to stay safe. Delaney, good evening. Eric, good evening to you. Rabbi Halshevitz has led a synagogue in Henrico for over five years and says he was shocked to see the events unfold. But as with the rise of anti Semitism, faith leaders are turning to regular training and security measures to keep places of worship safe. His message fear does not belong here. Over the weekend, a terrifying scene unfolding in a Texas synagogue. Anytime that a, uh, a synagogue is attacked, you're always going to be shocked and horrified by that. A gunman took four hostages, including a rabbi, keeping them captive for nearly 12 hours. Shevitz, a rabbi at the congregation or a teed in Henrico, says incidents like these are sadly becoming too familiar. There's a heightened sense of awareness everywhere um, uh, by all, uh, um, you know, all synagogues. Um, we are doing our best to um, uh, be vigilant, to keep our security procedures in place. Security procedures like bulletproof glass, locks. Daniel Staffenberg is the CEO of the Jewish Community Federation of Richmond, which leads security initiatives for area synagogues, like this training session last summer with the FBI and local police. The rabbi in Texas crediting his training for getting himself and three others safely out. The training that saved their lives. They were able to handle this ordeal because they'd been trained uh, by our security partners. Shevitz now urging his community to stay vigilant. Fear makes us weak and reactive. Vigilance says, no, this is our place. We are strong. We are going to be here and we are going to protect our place. Well, Staffenberg says along with training sessions, the Federation also has federal and state grants that help provide physical safety improvements for their synagogues, but are continuously enhancing safety measures. In the Digital Center, Delaney Hall, 8 News.